The story of the multinational goddess Astarte. Astarte is a multinational goddess, packing her backpack and traveling all over Egypt, the Near East, the Eastern Mediterranean region, participating in many cultures. She is the goddess representing fertility, sexuality, and war. In Phoenician mythology, Astarte is the goddess of the moon, of fertility and love. Equivalent to in Greek mythology, the goddess of love and beauty, similar to the goddess Venus in mythology. Roman. Astarte was worshipped first and most commonly in Canaan, Assyria, and Phoenicia. The Phoenicians said that she was the daughter of the sky god Epigaius and the earth goddess Je. Astarte has an older brother Elis and two younger sisters. Elis overthrew his father's throne and married all three of his sisters. Astarte had seven daughters and two sons with his brother. But then, for unknown reasons, Elis allowed Astarte to divorce and marry the storm god Hadad. Hadad and Astarte were given the land to rule by Elis. Astarte is considered an equivalent to the famous goddess of Mesopotamian mythology, due to their shared roots in Sumerian culture. As for the Jews, Astarte is transliterated as Astoreth in the Bible as a foreign god whose worship is forbidden. The worship of Astarte spread to the island of Cyprus and is believed to be related to the formation of the image of the goddess Aphrodite in Greek mythology. In ancient Egypt, two Canaanite goddesses, Astarte and Anat, were introduced and worshipped as goddesses of war. Legend has it that after Set failed in the battle with Horus, the goddess Neith comforted Set by giving him two foreign wives. Astarte and Anat. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.